Hi, welcome to the C++ programming tutorial. The last tutorial was um, virtual methods. And these virtual methods, it's like we gave an implementation. We had a virtual method. I've changed it all. We had a virtual method inside the input header. And that was essentially declared it. This is a new one, so we've got equal zero because it's a pure one. We're going to explain that. And we had like, an implementation of it where we put code, we just printed something to screen and made an object of no be inherited um, input um, header file, source file, the menu source file inherited the input file. And so within the menu file, we made an implementation of the, the virtual method and we offer we used to offer um, writing techniques to override the, the code and so that was a virtual method that we can actually override the, the code within it if we choose to well the difference here is we're going to use a pure virtual um, method in the class and we put an equal sign zero after we put the signature to declare that we're going to have a method in the header file and what that says this is a pure virtual method and there's not going to be any Im implementation of the code inside the input class and so that makes this class abstract and so whoever inherits this input class is going to have to provide the implementation to, to use this and if we don't provide the implementation then there's going to be an error saying there's something wrong and the only way you can access these um, methods when they've been implemented in the method class is by pointers and that's the difference is, is that you, you cannot make an object access these by obje objects now we've got three normal methods inside the, the input class but it just takes one pure virtual fu function to change this class into an abstract class and so that's what this has done and so we're going to have to access it with um, pointers and so if I go to the to the menu header and we go up to the top you can see that we inherit input class and it's public if we go down to the bottom, I've got void virtual sec. That is the actual virtual method, the pure virtual method. And we don't have any implementation of that um, inside the source file of input. But in the menu, we've, we've given a signature that we're going to use this method. And if we go down to the source file, we can see that we've actually um, We've got the body of the method to put code into it, and we'll do that now. wee bit of text and uh, so that's what's going to print out and that's us that's us um, implemented this method and so what we can do now is we can go to <coughs> the main we've, what we've done is we've said that this inherits input and we've given the signature that we're going to use this method and then the source file we've implemented code for it and remember we didn't implement code for it in the input that's the difference between a virtual and a pure virtual uh, method and this is abstract so abstract you've got to implement the virtual methods and so what I'll do is and so and you've got to use pointers now we've covered I've, I've showed 
pointer before, we didn't use it. Now this is us created an instance of a method. And that's all this all the methods that's inside it. But you can't use you can't access a virtual method from an object. But to make a pointer it's in three stages. We created a we created an object of the menu class which inherits this and then then we created a pointer to the input class even though it's inherited we're making a pointer to the input class and the asterisk denotes it's a pointer now it doesn't have to be right next to the data type it could be separated and it could be joined to that one um, and I'll compare it just to prove it. Right, as you can see, this the compile doesn't mind, so that's good. And so, but you'll get used to the way that you prefer to do it, and so that's just the way I've done it. And so, if we save, and so the fud part is we've given the pointer a name, and this is a convention. So that we can see the difference between a pointer and an object, an instance object. Um, an object, instance of an object, you access the data members by the dot operator. A pointer, you access the data members with a minus and greater than sign. And so, if there's no convention available, you would maybe um, just by you, you may have a huge amount of code, and you start to wonder: is this an object or is this a pointer? Well, if you've got this convention here, with a small p at the beginning of the word, and we're just calling it in, with a capital I in, we can see instantly there's a pointer and start doing the code for the pointer. And the object doesn't have that at all, it's just a lower case. And this would be a name, the menu in small, or main, or man, or whatever. And M, we just use the letter M this time. And so we've given it a name so that we can access the pointer. And so, what would next day just to say? The pointer equals the address of the object that we created. This ampersand sign. That's a memory location. And so, what we're saying, the memory location of n, which is we created an instance of menu and put it into memory. Well, that's the memory address that is the point is going to be pointing to. Now we've done it in three stages, you can actually do it in two stages. You can just go equals the memory address of M and you can take this away. And if I save it, compile. Everything's okay. Right, but I wanted to show you it in three stages so you maybe get a better picture of it. So P capital I N equals the memory address of M and save so now what we can do is we can actually access P I capital I N minus sign greater than and what you've got is the methods within the input class you can see it's all inputs and that's because we've done pointer. The pointer is pointing not to the menu, but it's pointing to the input. And this is the only way you'll be able to access the, the pure virtual members. And so if I do that, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to try to if I run it and just to make sure everything's alright. Well, so I'm just doing this part now, I've not done it before, so so just in case something wrong. From this context, let's go over here. Yeah, it's protected. And remember um, prote protected it's only the the derived class, class that can access the data members is protected. So that was the thing. So what I should do is cut and paste it um, to the public so we can access it. And 
to Office Safe and Compile. So there you go. Hi, I'm I spelled pure wrong. Hi, I'm pure dead brilliant. Yeah, man, I'm pure virtual. Right, so that's virtual memory. So that's um, virtual, um, virtual methods. Pure virtual methods, and you use pointers to access them. And so just to to go for it, it's like the difference between the virtual one. That's a virtual one deconstructor. Um, it looks the same. It's this part here that's different. I think you can actually put nil if that's a keyword. I'm just testing this out, but it doesn't look like I can put it's not getting highlighted like these ones here. So so I'm not going to do that. So zero and save. Right, what we're doing is we're saying, oh, we're not going to define the code, we're not going to implement the code for this method. That's why it's put to zero, and that's what turns it into an abstract class. And the abstract class, you've got to, you've got to like, um, um, you've got to implement the the one that inherits an abstract class. It's got to implement the methods, the pure virtual methods. And if they don't do that, there'll be an error. And so, input. So input, there's no implementation of the virtual, pure virtual method, and we've inherited um, this this class menu has inherited input, but uh, but what it has done because of that, it's it's implemented the f pure virtual method, and if we go to the source code, you'll see that we've actually implemented the code for that. If we don't do that then there'll be an error. Right, so what I'm going to do to prove it, I'm going to take away the code the implementation and we're going to take away the signature. And so if I save the changes, compile, There's an error. There's an error here, um, and the error. What it's going to say to you: cannot declare variable to be of abstract type menu, and so it's abstract type. And what it's saying is that it's an abstract, so you've got to implement the virtual, your virtual methods. And so we'll go back and we'll do that. I'll use edit undo, and we'll use edit undo here as well. So if we save this one and save this one and compile now you'll see that everything's okay. Well I thought it was okay. There seems to be a problem with this one. Right, it's not finished. And fail. Semicolon. save, compile, yeah everything's ok, and run the program, yeah, I'm pure dead brilliant, yeah man, I'm pure virtual, and so, so that's virtual methods, and uh, pure virtual methods, and also pointers, so again thank you for your time, and thank you for listening.